When it comes to signs and symptoms, it really depends on the percentage of blood that has been lost. But a helpful mnemonic, so you can remember some of these signs and symptoms, is CHART. So C is for the urine is very concentrated, right, because we have low fluid volume. They're going to be cyanotic, and then their capillary refill time is going to be longer, and that is reflective of that poor tissue perfusion. They're going to be hypotensive because of the less blood volume. They might be anxious, right, because they're in shock, right, this is very scary. So anxiety, they might have an altered level of consciousness, so they might be unconscious. And then an altered heart rhythm, so if this gets really bad, they can have a dysrhythmia. They could have a rapid or weak, hard-to-find pulse, a thready pulse, like a plus one. Reduced urinary output, because at the moment, right, the body is trying to preserve all of the volume and fluid that it has, so it's really not trying to get a lot of output there. And there's not a lot to come out. And then finally, the T, they can have an increased temperature, so they'll have a fever, um, and they're going to be tachycardic. Tachycardia and hypotension are kind of those like hallmark signs of shock when you think of somebody in shock. So these patients with hypovolemic shock, they're going to have that.